very welcome to this Senior Render Surface Material Series. My name is Carsten MD from ASM TechBase. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the bell option here like all so you get all the latest video notifications, all my tutorial, so you won't miss out on anything. And one more thing, on my website, join the ASM TechBase email list for newsletters and future updates. Hi, welcome to Scene Render Surface Material Part 4 Transparency. And for this tutorial, I moved my camera a bit more to the left so we can see some glass and then it's easier to explain the transparency channel. Let's open our surface. I've got a surface called ISM Tech Base Transparency. Just got a color white, as you can see, the glass is white at the moment. And let's just add now the transparency channel on top. So I click transparency. And as you can see, it totally disappeared here. This is because it depends on the color you have. You got white color transparency channel, the glass is totally see-through. And if you have black, it's a hundred percent solid. So if I go there, it's a hundred percent solid. So that's just like here. What we do is next, obviously, we play first a little bit with this. So let's let's go let's go and make it half, roughly fifty percent. So you can see through a little bit, and to see, to reflect this here, we can match the settings for. Um, the basic settings, so update basic settings from Scene Render. And let's have, have a quick check. And we should have a bit of transparency, but see sometimes, I mean, sometimes it doesn't seem to do it. So let's just go there. So I have a roughly 50% tran transparency for Scene Render. Now this obviously in a moment won't update all the time. This is just to see what you have to do a little bit at the end that you match your OpenGL just a little bit, at least you see it's glass, it's, you know, it won't be reflecting and stuff like that, but you can see it's, it's glass, it's see-through, and that's enough feedback for us in 3D. If I render this up now, let's see how that looks. Now, as you can see, I can stop this here. It's 50% and it's obviously still way too solid. You can see my sofa turning up here, the floor inside where it's a bit darker, but where the sun shines in, you can hardly see through. But that's just to explain what this color does to the surface. So a lot of times you actually go close to zero, which is you got to go close to total white. So let's just make it a little bit. Yeah, it just got there. And then we click OK and render this up again. Okay, as you can see, this looks much better now. You can see clearly inside the living room, you can see our sofas, and you can see that we have glass, where the sun shines on, the glass looks a bit milky, where the shadow is, it looks much clearer. Now, to keep going with this, we obviously would have to add a bit of glass reflections. I will show you the reflections in another part, but there's a lot more options to the transparency than just making it transparent. So let's go back into the transparency channel. As you can see, the brightness obviously is, is the same as always. You make it darker, the glass gets darker. So I don't really have to explain much about that. Refraction. This is a bit more to explain here. Refraction, what it does is, I actually have um, searched this quickly on Wikipedia and I that's the best way to really have a quick look through and explain it to you. So I'll show you this. It's simply explained. They have different, um, the light just passes through differently. As you can see, very easy explained. Many materials have a well cut right categorize refraction index, but the index depends strongly upon the frequency of the light. So you can see in the light, as example, the water, you know, it doesn't go straight through and keeps going straight. And I can show you this quite easy with um, some straws put into the water. That's the best example and easiest to explain a refraction. 
so the straw looks very odd because of the water refraction so there is a list here see you can search for lists and why do i tell you this because in archicad we got transparency refraction and we can click here and there has a pre it Archicad has a preset list so you can obviously go if you want to do glass you just click glass here and it changes the refraction to 1.52 which is different to the normal index of 1.0 which the light would go straight through no refraction doesn't go in any angles but this doesn't happen very often so this is quite nice so you can obviously take different ones see if i go to water the refraction in this is 1.33 so that's very handy in my case i've got glass so you got to glass i've got that refraction in this of 1.52 so if I render this up now, I don't know if you know what happens, but let's just see. It will look a bit different. Now, if you got a keen eye, you saw something happened. Even so, it looks almost the same, doesn't it? Now watch this if I go from picture three to picture two and you watch the sofa. Whoa, the sofa moved. I did not move the sofa obviously inside the living room, but because of the refraction of the glass, the light goes through and it will just show you a bit different than if you have a 1.0 refraction, which has the light doesn't go on any angle, it just goes straight through. So you can see that if even the wall back here, look at the wall, it totally moves over. Now, in reality, it obviously never moves that much. I just wanted to show you that it actually does something to it. The reason is you see it jumping a lot is the settings I have is very low in the options, general options. Um, and you go down here, the ray depth and reflection depth is very low. So let's correct this for this um, tutorial. Let's put this on five and reflection on five too and close this again so if i render this up now again you will see the sofa stays pretty much in place okay let's stop this here this makes much more sense because the glass yes we changed the refraction from 1.0 to 1.5 Two, I think it is with the glass but the glass we have here is really flat and because it's really flat the refraction has almost no influence to showing this you know any different now it's di it's different if I have the glass bent a little bit and I want to show you the difference okay to show you the difference I have just another scene here you can see this is a glass wall which is curved and uh, got obviously some furniture inside and I got one chair outside and you'll see that's the one I need to show you what's happening so let's go to uh, look at the camera setup so you see the chair is just outside of this round glass wall so if I no, I don't have to render up hang on a second I want to first show you what I've got so I just renamed that quickly, that's transparency curved. So that's where we left off before. And I put refraction back to one. So let's just say okay and render this up. As you can see, I made the outside of the wall in a darker material so you can see clearly the round wall is still here you have a bit of shadow and it is a little bit darker where the glass is because it's sort of a you know double glass because goes around so but the main thing is you can see that the refraction at the moment it's nothing happens because it's on 1.0 so let's change this to have a glass refraction now so we go custom and we change this to glass which is 1.52 you can see already this is even showing different up here click OK and we render this up again
Okay, this looks totally different. You can clearly see that as if the chain is split in two and the angle is a little bit different. So let's just go back. So there's refraction 1.0, which is pretty, it's no refraction at all. And this is glass 1.52. You can see clearly the difference even on, down here on the floor. See, there you go. Looks totally different reflection on the floor. So I think that's what I wanted to show you in compared to a flat glass, which has even with the same refraction, you just can't really see any difference when the light goes through and continues pretty straight. The only way when it happens when the glass is sort of, it has always a slight bump in it. If it's a huge glass, you've seen it, when you go outside to skyscrapers, have a look how they reflect. Then you can see that the glass, even though it's, it's a flat glass, it doesn't look like a mirror, there's a slight wave in it. What I mean is probably best explained with a um, couple of images. I've got this one here, the first one. You can clearly see there are skyscraper glass, flat glass, but you can see a wave in there. And in this other example, again, very similar. Um, it's just not straight. And if you, you go next time in a bigger city, you look at the skyscraper reflections, you will see it's almost hard to get a really straight glass. You'll get them obviously, but there's always a slight wave in it. Let's show you this uh, on a real glass panel, flat panel like this one. So I go back into my transparency settings, which is here. And to show you this now, because it's such a really flat glass, I add some bump. The bump channel I explained in another video, but just for quickly, for this example here, I add some noise. And we got the noise down here, and I will change this noise to dense and the global scale to 1000. Okay, so that's sort of a bump map on top of the glass. So if I render this up now, okay, you can clearly see now the bump. Is showing me the, the um, refraction. So if you, if you take out the refraction of the glass, even so I've got a bump on the glass, it will just look normal. The sofa looks normal to you straight through the glass. To see this, I do a very quick render with the refraction turned off. So you go in here, transparency, and um, over here, glass, and I go to my custom, and I will put in zero, zero, so no refraction at all and render this up. I think I can stop this here. You can clearly see glasses back to normal as if you have no refraction at all. Okay, we're not quite done yet. I like to obviously also show you the options we got here like all the other channels. So it's probably the simplest way is to click here and let's go down here and we use as example the checkerboard. So you add a checkerboard and you can see already in your uh, render up here because the checkerboard is white and black, remember white is totally transparent and black is solid. So if I just, let's go down here, click on the checkerboard and maybe change the size a little bit, make this two and let's make this four. See all the difference here? And we click okay. So if I render this up now, it will obviously look like a checkerboard. So as you can see it, you can actually create quite a cool effect or yeah, like a cool wall with it. So I stop this now because you can see what's happening here. So what is important to know, it's just like all the other channels. If you go here and you click here, let's just do none again. The options you have here, you know, there's so many options and I can't explain them all to you. But again, give them a go, try different things. As example, you just hit the checkerboard, but how about we do, um, what we have, oh yes, that's right, let's do uh, a noise as example. So let's go here and we do a simple noise. And again, because it's black and white, this one is maybe a bit more difficult because it is not quite black. So it's have a look, see, even though there is totally black and white here, but let's just hit okay and render again. As you can see, that's sort of a noisy wall now, glass wall. You can actually totally see 
transparent through where it's white and where you see white here which is obviously black in the noise you can't see it through anymore so there's lots of options here you give them a go try them out and looking back into the transparency here obviously again the mixed mode it's just the same thing you know you're mixing it so if you go to the checkerboard let's go back to the checkerboard and then you mix mode you just try them out you know go and multiply see what happens if nothing happens then don't use it you know mix strength you go down here you just have a look up here see there you go so i think you get slowly watching all those different scene render surface material tutorials from the different channels i can see you slowly getting used to it how it actually works and it's pretty powerful if you if you, if you know what to do you can create any surface any material and you can make them look quite realistic okay look this is it for the transparency part and the next one i will look at is the reflectance channel